Now we'll talk about the kilowatt hour and I'll explain what the kilowatt hour is and we'll work a couple of example problems using it. It turns out that the kilowatt hour is a unit for energy and here's how that happens to be the case. Remember our equation for power. Power is energy over time. So you can think of how much energy is being used up in a given amount of time. And we typically measure the energy in joules and the time in seconds. And then the power is in watts. And remember that one watt is equal to one joule per second. So a 100 watt light bulb is using 100 joules of energy per second. Now we can take this equation and rearrange it. Algebraically we can just solve it for energy and energy is power times time. And you can see what would happen here if we put in power in watts and time in seconds and remember that a watt is a joule per second so that's joule per second times seconds and the seconds would cancel and that would just leave us with joules. So we can see that one watt times one second gives us one joule. But it turns out that any unit of power multiplied by any unit of time would give us a unit for energy. So for example you could have uh, some unit for power, say the horsepower, multiplied by some unit for time, say a week. Horsepower times a week, that would be a unit for energy. Or you might have a watt times a month. A watt month would be a unit for energy. Or you might have a milliwatt times a century. And these are kind of ridiculous units. We never use these. These, um, these I've never heard anyone use a horsepower times a week or a, a watt month as a unit or something like that. But the point here is that any unit of power multiplied by a unit of time will give us a unit for energy. Now these aren't very common. What's commonly used as a unit for energy is a watt times a second which is the same thing as a joule. But there's one other unit for energy that's commonly used and that's a kilowatt times an hour. If you have one kilowatt times one hour, well the unit there is a kilowatt hour and that's written with the lowercase k capital W lowercase h. And a kilowatt hour is exactly this, a kilowatt times an hour. And remember what the kilowatt is, that's a unit for power, that tells you how fast you're using the energy, and then the hour is a unit of time. So if you're using energy at this rate, one kilowatt, for that much time, one hour, then the total amount of energy used is one kilowatt hour. So we see that a kilowatt hour has to be a unit for energy. And it's really easy to remember because the unit itself spells out what it is, it's a kilowatt times an hour. And it turns out that this is how the power company measures the power that they sell to you. Uh, I live in Georgia and in Georgia the power company is Georgia Power and if you look on your electric bill it shows you how much energy you used that month and it's measured in kilowatt hours. And at the present time that this is being recorded in 2009 uh, residential electric power is around 12 cents or so per kilowatt hour. Uh, different rates apply to different situations. A big factory might get a different rate. Industrial power is usually supplied on a larger scale and is a little bit cheaper. But, um, but it's sold by the kilowatt hour. So this is an important unit and it's very commonly used in industry. Here's an example problem. How much does it cost to run a 1.8 kilowatt heater for one month if it's used three hours each day? and we're told electricity costs 12 cents per kilowatt hour and we're going to assume that the month has 30 days. So here it is. We're going to figure out the power we're, or we're told the power it's 1.8 kilowatts so that's 1800 watts and we're told the time is 30 days and we're using it for three hours per day and if we write it like this you can see the days cancel out mathematically so over the course of that 30 days it gets used for a total of 90 hours you can see the 30 times the 3 gives us the 90 
and then we can find the energy. That's what we're trying to figure out. In order to calculate the cost, we need to know the energy. And the energy is power times time. Our power is 1.8 kilowatts. The time is 90 hours. So we just multiply 1.8 times 90, and we get 162. And you can see the units right there, kilowatt hours. So 162 kilowatt hours. And then we can figure out the cost. We have 162 kilowatt hours times 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And I'll write this as 0.12 dollars per kilowatt hour. And set up this way, you can see the kilowatt hours cancel and we're left with dollars for our unit. And 162 times 0.12 comes out to 19.44. So that's $19.44. To run that heater and you, you might think oh that's not too bad but that's just one device in your house your house has a lot of things that are using electricity not just a heater being used for three hours each day you have electric lights a television a computer uh, uh, the air conditioner in the summer takes a particularly large amount of energy a dryer uses a lot of energy something like a hair dryer uses a lot of energy too but only for a short period of time you only use a hair dryer for a couple of minutes at a time but um but the clothes dryer might run for a, a long time or the air conditioner might run for several hours each day you have electric ovens microwave ovens a toaster all sorts of things in the kitchen uh, stereo uh, entertainment systems when you add all that up uh, a typical house might have anywhere from um, electric bill for a given month anywhere from fifty dollars on up to hundreds of dollars depending on the size of the house and how much stuff you have in it here's another example you have a light on the ceiling of your room and it has three 75 watt bulbs so three bulbs in one fixture and you leave the home for the day and forget to turn your light off before departing electricity costs 12 cents per kilowatt hour how much does it cost to leave your light on for the 12 hours okay let's figure this out and this isn't too hard the power is the 75 watts times three because there's three bulbs and that's pretty easy to do that's 200 225 watts and we'll write that in kilowatts it's 0.225 kilowatts and you need to convert to kilowatts if you're going to be dealing with kilowatt hours and the time here is 12 hours so we can calculate the amount of energy that's used while we're gone for 12 hours it's 0.225 kilowatts times 12 hours and so we multiply 0.225 times 12 and we end up with 2.7 and you see the units there kilowatt hours 2.7 kilowatt hours and then we can calculate the cost from that 2.7 kilowatt hours times 12 cents per kilowatt hour and these will cancel out the kilowatt hours and it just leaves us with 2.7 times 12 that comes out to 32.4 cents and you could write it as 32.4 cents like that or you could write it as 0.324 dollars either way would be okay and you think okay that's not too bad 32 cents but that's just one day and that's just one thing lots of things are in your house using electricity some of those things are on more than 12 hours a day some aren't but again that's just one light fixture from one room so leaving a lot of things on can add up and even just one device left on each day day after day week after week and month after month can add up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars